Oh my gosh. <laughs> you ready for this? It's a little safe. That is an old gun. Welcome back to the fourth edition of our storage locker hunting experiment. We've had some great ones and we've also struck out a few times. And today I'm filming this on actual election day. I'm near Dallas, Texas. I traveled all the way down here to see White Settlement, Texas. I'm kind of surprised that there's a place called White Settlement, Texas. I paid $1,000 for this unit. It was very popular. A lot of people wanted this. Is this not the coolest office you've ever seen? Unboxing, what's inside of this thing? We're gonna do the ultimate unboxing of a storage locker today. First you drive into this area, and this is where you kind of like park your car, load in and out. It is climate controlled in these units. Luckily for us, this one is on the first level. A lady came in here, put this stuff in there three years ago. She's never been in here since. Let's see this. Jake, open her up. Okay. What is inside of this storage locker? <laughs> yes. This is it. Oh man, we got lots of boxes in here. But this is what we came for right here. There is a nice gun right here and down there. Sentry safe, a little safe. I don't know, it's pretty organized. Everything's labeled, it's clean. I think we've got a winner here. Yes. I'm feeling really good about that gun. Why don't you feel the actual gun? Just squeeze it. Is there a gun inside of it? Please have a gun inside of it. Uh-oh. What, no. There's a gun. Yes! Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. I feel bad for people that leave their stuff. Good news, there's a very dusty key that looks like it's to the safe. Oh, there's something in there. Yeah, there's something inside of that safe. Look at that, three years of dust. Let's start with the safe. No, let's try this. This looks like it belongs to it. Uh-oh. Oh. Dude, that's jacked up. Is there a broken key? <gasps> it's broken inside. Somebody tried to get inside of this and they couldn't. Check it out, it's broken and you can see inside of there. We're gonna, gonna have to get in. We're gonna we, have to get serious. We need some tools for this guy. Yeah. One of the videos we did with an abandoned safe once was up in Alaska with my wife's grandfather, Grandpa Jack, and he had a safe from his old restaurants that he hadn't been able to open for 20, 25 years. And so they asked me if I could cut into the safe. It was difficult to get into, but we found some things in there that were really interesting. I'll link to that video in the description. It was a really fun video. There's a chance that for 10 years, 20 years, nobody's been able to get in there and get the valuables. I feel good about this. Let's go for the gun. Oh my, that is old. Woo! Wow. That is an old gun. That is an old gun. Oh, okay. It's open. You can see it's just like a double barreled shotgun. So that locks it into place. Put the shells in there, lock it up, and then when you pull the triggers, pew, 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 pew. that's my gun noises. Utica Firearms Co. <laughs> the butt of it is a little bit broken off. A little bit of rust on that. What do you think that's worth, Jake? Uh, $2,000. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> We're gonna take this to a gun place. There's plenty of shops that buy guns here in Texas. Let's get into some of this other stuff before we get into the safe. We got in here, Ian. How to draw manga. All right, Ian. There you go. That is old. All of their checks that they've written. So weird going through people's junk. It just still, it feels wrong to me. Date of delivery, July 13th, 1993. And here's somebody's resume from 1994. This disc will hold 360K. If there's anything we learn from these videos, it's that storage lockers are probably not the place you want to put your stuff. Just to store your junk and then finally it goes to auction. Nothing in there. Life Magazine, December 13th, 1963. President Johnson, this is pertinent for election day here. Today is election day. Maybe there's some collector value there. Value, $25. General Electric advertising. 1963, John F. Kennedy. Oh. Huh, wow. What? Look at these newspapers. 
Yeah, November 29th. November 29th, 1963, first bullet. This is really good shape too. I'm, hold on to these guys. Reface is quick extradition. Moon men are ready for lunar liftoff. Oh, cool. Astronaut Neil Armstrong stepped onto the surface of the moon at 9.56 last night to become the first human to set foot on the moon. That is cool. Weatherford, Texas phone. Ooh. What do we got inside of here? Oh man. U.S. Navy seal right there. Dude, an old one cent Indian head. This is a penny from 1899. That's gotta have some value. Oh, a $2 bill. 1976. That's, <laughs> that's worth $2. Somebody's military oh. wings. Oh, cool. Five cents. What is the year on this? This is old. Doesn't show the year on it, but you can see that it's super old oh, yeah. and worn. Okay, so we got a few things in here. You ready for this? I can't wait. We got a few things in here that are of value. One, is this old knife? Yeah. Two, is this smaller old knife? Three, smaller old knife. Smallest old knife. <laughs> That's it! I was hoping for more from this gold bag here, but... This bag was interesting. Hmm. Hey, this is memorabilia. Eric Clapton, Holly. Miss Orion, 1992. This is Jethro Toll, Rock Island. You open it up, David Pegg of Jethro Toll. I have no value in that, no. Oh boy. Okay. We must be. This is signed by some sort of baseball player. Again, signed by somebody that I don't know. Bill Bates, sorry, I don't know who you are also. Some sort of rocker there. Just a random picture of Eric Clapton. All right, we're getting to this one here. This is a giant quilt. This is an old jacket. Oh, I got a little wash, a little bit broken. This feels pretty good. Check out this one, it's heavy. This old pocket watch was, with a silver case was worn by my grandfather from 1864 to 1995, 1955. That thing is like 1900, maybe even before. 25 centavos, Republic of Mexico. American Bank Note, Company New York, what? 1915, Series I. Look at the writings on it, look at the printing of it. I feel like there's some value to that. Here's some of the old watches that we found. Old tickets from concerts. I mean, that's a close up picture of Kiss from back in the day. Do people collect these? This thing is signed by Batman. It's kind of fun finding old stuff. I like this, collectibles. Wow, all the best to him. Concert tickets. Dude, this guy loved rocking out. Jethro Tull, Santana. Do people buy concert ticket stubs? Maybe not a ton of value, but I'm having a blast on this unit. There's a bunch of oil lamps, like legit oil lamps, and I don't know why there's so many. Coral, Corey's personal. History of the 90th Division. This is one old book. Newspaper articles. I wish I was a collectible person and I could say more about these things. Jack and Jill, August 1946. I don't know. Look at this old picture. It's like this old military picture and it says this is me on it. Personal items. Only dynamite would love that. Dad drawers. If you know anything about dads, they love to put things in their drawers. This is what was in dad's drawers. <laughs> We're gonna hit Pager. Dad loves his pocket knife. So I got something for you. That one could be something. Belly rings, nose rings. Mm, I'll be honest, I'm Probably. not some expert in jewelry, but that does not seem like it's worth it. Kind of looks costly. One free movie rental. <laughs> Tons of keys. This guy went to so many concerts. We didn't do that good with dad's drawers, but this is other drawers. Ooh, there's a nice Nokia cell phone right there. Star Wars Nintendo DS. Fragile knickknacks. Money bar. <laughs> I got a good feeling about it. Okay, we got a penguin here. So can we break it's it fragile. over Fragile. With your muscles, yeah. Oh. Nuts. Little nut thing, nutty things. Oh, look at that cutie. We got another oil lamp. Oof. Yeah. Eagle. Broken eagle. Rat. Mm, mouse. This one is living room cabinet. Oh, okay. Lincoln scent. 
Election starting 1941. Ooh. Like that's on steel. That's a steel penny. Those are steel pennies. Oh yeah, here we go. Pretty good collection there. Crown Royal, isn't that like alcohol? Sneaky place to keep your Bible. Old cards, like do people collect kiss cards? They collect Pokemon cards. I don't know. This one's actually in a protective sleeve. That one's signed though. Oh. That's like the exact same card though. Too yeah, good fine. It signed. It's like spring loaded. It's got some diamonds. You think those are real diamonds, huh? I don't know. <gasps> yes! Jake, are you ready for this? Hit me. This is not sta staple food for fish. These are coins. Ooh! 50 cent coins. Oh, and a big old. Ha! And there's two more of them. Wow. $10 in each one. There's $30. Thank you. Scooby Doo. Ah, there's some more coins. You hear that? That's the sound of money. More. And then another kiss card. Some more kiss cards. $30 if you have all 367. Oh my gosh. Let's keep collecting. Bear Scout book. Just opened up a knickknacks box and we found this inside of it. Paper money. Honduras. Lots of Honduras money. Hmm. Oh. Hey, okay, there you go. Las Vegas Hilton. Space Quest Casino. We've been working for a long time. A long time. These are some of the things we're gonna take with us. Of course, we're gonna take the safe. We've got the gun over there. These are personal items. This is all stuff that we're going to leave for the people here at the storage locker to shred or do what they want with that. These are all things that need to go to Goodwill. And then we gotta break open the safe, see what's inside of it. Hopefully we've got some good stuff in the safe, but overall you probably break even with what you've already found. It's been pretty good. A lot of the coins, a lot of the stuff that has some value to it. There we go. Leaving Roy's pawn shop here. Got $75 for my old gun. They said it was something from before the Great Depression. A lot of gun companies didn't survive after the Great Depression, and so this was one of those that never made it. That's why they don't recognize the brand. As far as the watch goes, it didn't look like it worked, like they were trying to shake it and do all this stuff. It's probably worth like 50 bucks. I'm gonna hold on to it. I wanna get a second opinion on that and just see. Maybe I take it to a watch jeweler place that knows how to fix it. And then the safe, of course, the safe with the broken key inside. Here's our tools today. Two and a half pound sledgehammer, it's the biggest they had. And this little guy. Let's do this pokey side. Oh! That's a good start right there. Yes! Oh. Ha ha! This isn't my first rodeo. BobMarley.com. That was some sort of uh, cigarette paper. A plastic bag, this metal pointy tool, this knife, what? <laughs> this razor blade. That's it, guys. Don't get suckered into seeing a safe inside of a storage locker. That's how we're get. They're going to the moon! That's really cool. Whoa! Dude, I almost got your eyes, sorry. 